Jace Tunnel here. Come with me. We're going to look at something that's been washing up here for a while. Now, who can tell me what this is? It looks like a, a little boat or something like that, right? Well, I'm about to show you. You're going to know right when I pick this sucker up. Now look at, see, see what's inside of there. These are oysters. So this is an oyster basket that uh, got loose. And it's been, I've seen this on the beach here for a while now. Now look at that. Those are like market size oysters where you could take them to a restaurant and eat them. But um, you might be thinking, what are oysters doing inside of this basket, right? Well, if you're an oyster farmer, you know exactly what this is. This is how you're, uh, you grow them. And so they grow oysters from very small and then into these marketable size oysters. And here in Texas, you can get them to this size in about a year because we have pretty warm water. Now, if you're up like in the Chesapeake Bay or something like that and you're growing oysters, it might actually take you two or three years to be able to get a marketable size because the water temperature is a lot cooler. Now, um, these are floats. When this is in the water, um, you'll have them to where they're, they're floating uh, in the water, so they're growing obviously, but then they can get uh, what we call biofouling on them and uh, you know get stuff on them that you don't want. So the oyster farmers will actually, they can flip them over um, to where the, uh, one of the sides is actually out of the water and it dries them out and because they can live uh, out of water uh, for a period of time. Then they come back and they can flip it back over and so then that, that way it dries uh, both sides of them. Um, this one would be considered floating at the surface. Uh, there are actually some that are further down in the water column or they call them uh, off bottom or on bottom. And so there's different types of farming. This one in particular um, must have gotten loose. And you know, in Texas, oyster farming just started up and so there's only like a couple of facilities that are actually farming this i know has been on the beach before they started up so it's not from their facility in texas there are many states that do oyster farming so this could have come uh you know louisiana uh, maybe some of the other states that are doing the oyster farming but i thought that if any of you all saw this on the beach or you see something similar to that and there's oysters inside you might want to know you know how those things are why those things are in there so now you know something different we'll talk to you later bye